Welcome to our channel. China's Long March 9th rocket is a significant development in the realm of space exploration and technology, reflecting the country's ambitious goals in the aerospace sector. In this video, you'll explore the significance of China's Long March 9th rocket and how it could reshape the future of space missions. Before we begin this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support, let's continue. Space exploration is a complex and multifaceted endeavor that faces numerous challenges, ranging from technological limitations to the need for more powerful launch vehicles. These challenges are critical to overcome as they directly impact the feasibility, cost, and success of space missions. Here are some of the key challenges currently faced in space exploration. Technological Limitations 1. Propulsion Systems Current chemical propulsion systems are limited in terms of efficiency and range. They require large amounts of fuel, which increases the mass and cost of missions. Advanced propulsion technologies, such as nuclear thermal propulsion and electric propulsion, are being explored to address these limitations. Ensuring the reliability and durability of propulsion systems over long durations is crucial, especially for deep space missions. This requires rigorous testing and development of robust materials and components. 2. Life Support Systems Long-duration missions, such as those to Mars, require sustainable life support systems that can recycle air, water, and waste. Current systems are still in the experimental phase and need to be scaled up and made more reliable. Protecting astronauts from the harsh conditions of space, including radiation and microgravity, is a significant challenge. Advanced medical technologies and protective measures are essential. 3. Robust and reliable hardware. Spacecraft and equipment must be constructed using materials that can withstand the extreme conditions of space, including temperature fluctuations, radiation, and micrometeoroid impacts. Rigorous testing and validation are required to ensure that all components function correctly in the space environment. This includes ground testing, simulations, and in-space testing. 4. Data transmission and communication. Communication with spacecraft over long distances can be delayed and limited by bandwidth constraints. Advanced communication technologies, such as laser communication, are being developed to improve data transmission rates and reduce latency need for more powerful launch vehicles. 1. Payload Capacity Many ambitious space missions, such as Mars sample return and lunar base construction, require the transportation of large payloads. Current launch vehicles, while powerful, often fall short of the required payload capacity. The development of super-heavy lift vehicles like the Long March 9, NASA's Space Launch System (SLS), and SpaceX's Starship is essential. Reducing the cost per kilogram of payload to orbit is a significant goal. Reusability, as demonstrated by SpaceX's Falcon 9, is a key strategy to achieve this. Further advancements in reusability and the development of more efficient launch systems are needed. 2. Reliability and safety. Ensuring the reliability and safety of launch vehicles is critical. Any failure can result in the loss of expensive equipment and, in some cases, human lives. Rigorous testing and quality control are essential to minimize risks. Redundancy and fault tolerance. Incorporating redundancy and fault tolerance into launch vehicle designs can improve reliability. This includes backup systems and fail-safes to handle unexpected issues during launch and flight. 3. Environmental Impact. The environmental impact of rocket launches is a growing concern. Developing launch vehicles that use cleaner and more sustainable propulsion technologies is essential to minimize the ecological footprint of space exploration. The increasing amount of space debris poses a risk to operational spacecraft and future missions. Launch vehicles and mission designs must consider strategies to mitigate the creation of new debris and manage existing debris. Financial and Logistical Challenges 1. Funding. Securing adequate funding for space exploration is a significant challenge. Government agencies and private companies must invest substantial resources in research, development, and mission operations. International Collaboration. 
Collaborative efforts between countries can help share the financial burden and pool resources for large-scale space projects. 2. Logistics and Supply Chain Ensuring a reliable and efficient supply chain for spacecraft components is crucial. Delays in the supply chain can significantly impact mission timelines. Establishing and maintaining logistical support for long-duration missions, such as resupply missions to a lunar base or Mars, is a complex and resource-intensive task. Ethical and Regulatory Challenges 1. Ethical Considerations Ensuring the safety and well-being of astronauts is a paramount ethical concern. This includes addressing the physical and psychological impacts of long-duration space missions. The ethical use of space resources, such as water and minerals, must be considered to ensure sustainable and equitable practices. 2. Regulatory Frameworks The legal framework for space exploration, including the Outer Space Treaty, needs to be updated to address new challenges and opportunities, such as commercial space activities and space mining. Each country has its own regulations and policies governing space activities. Harmonizing these regulations can facilitate international collaboration and standardization. The Long March 9th is a super heavy lift launch vehicle designed to support ambitious missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Here's a detailed look at its specifications, design, capabilities, and the missions it is expected to support, highlighting its advancements over previous rockets. Specifications 1. Size and configuration. Height. Approximately 93 meters, 305 feet, diameter. 10 meters, 33 feet, for the core stage. Number of stages. Four stages, including a core stage and three additional stages. Boosters. Four liquid-fueled boosters, each with a diameter of 5 meters, 16 feet. 2. Payload capacity. Low Earth orbit, LEO. 140 metric tons geostationary transfer orbit gto 50 metric tons translunar injection tli 50 metric tons mars transfer orbit 44 metric tons 3. engines core stage equipped with multiple yf 130 engines each producing about 500 tons of thrust boosters each booster is powered by a single YF-130 engine. Upper stages. Utilize YF-79 and YF-75D engines for higher efficiency and maneuverability. Design and capabilities. 1. Modular design. The Long March 9th is designed with a modular approach, allowing for flexibility in mission configurations. This means it can be adapted to different payload requirements and mission profiles, making it a versatile launch vehicle. 2. Advanced Propulsion The YF-130 engine, which uses kerosene and liquid oxygen LOX, is a significant advancement over previous engines. It offers higher thrust and efficiency, crucial for lifting heavy payloads into orbit. The upper stages use the YF-79 and YF-75D engines, which are more efficient and can provide the necessary thrust for precise orbital insertion in deep space missions. 3. Reusability. While not initially designed for reusability, future iterations of the Long March 9 may incorporate reusable components. This could significantly reduce the cost of space launches and enhance the rocket's operational efficiency, similar to SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Starship. 4. Structural Innovations The rocket's structure is designed to withstand the extreme conditions of launch and space travel. Advanced materials and construction techniques are used to ensure durability and reliability. Advancements over previous rockets 1. Increased payload capacity. The Long March 9's payload capacity is significantly higher than that of previous Chinese rockets. For example, the Long March 5th, which is currently the most powerful operational Chinese rocket, can lift about 25 metric tons to LEO. The Long March 9's capacity of 140 metric tons to LEO represents a five-fold increase, making it one of the most powerful rockets ever built. 2. Advanced Engine Technology 
The YF-130 engine is a major advancement over the YF-77 engine used in the Long March 5th. The YF-130 offers higher thrust and efficiency, which is essential for lifting heavy payloads and supporting complex missions. 3. Modular and Flexible Design The modular design of the Long March 9th allows for greater flexibility in mission planning. This is a significant improvement over previous rockets, which had more rigid configurations and were less adaptable to different mission requirements. 4. Potential for reusability. While not a current feature, the design of the Long March 9th leaves room for future advancements in reusability. This could make it more cost-effective and sustainable compared to previous single-use rockets. Missions and Applications 1. Mars Sample Return Mission The Long March 9th is expected to play a crucial role in China's Mars Sample Return Mission, which aims to bring Martian soil and rock samples back to Earth. The rocket's high payload capacity is essential for launching the necessary spacecraft and equipment. 2. Lunar Exploration The rocket will support China's lunar exploration program, including the establishment of a lunar research station. The Long March 9's capabilities are necessary for transporting the large modules and equipment required for sustained human presence on the Moon. 3. Deep Space Missions Beyond Mars and the Moon, the Long March 9th could facilitate more ambitious deep space missions, such as sending probes to the outer planets and beyond. This could expand our understanding of the solar system and potentially lead to new discoveries. 4. Commercial and scientific applications. The Long March 9's high payload capacity and versatility make it suitable for a wide range of commercial and scientific applications, including large satellite deployments, space station resupply missions, and scientific research missions. The Long March 9th rocket is still in the development phase, and its exact launch date has not been officially confirmed. However, there have been several key milestones and timelines provided by the China National Space Administration, CNSA, and other Chinese space agencies. Development Timeline and Status 1. Initial Announcements The Long March 9th was first announced in 2016, with initial plans to have it operational by the mid-2020s. 2. Design and Testing over the past few years, significant progress has been made in the design and testing of the rocket's components. This includes the development of new engines and the testing of various subsystems. 3. Prototype Construction As of 2023, the construction of the first prototype of the Long March 9th is underway. This prototype will undergo extensive ground testing to ensure its reliability and performance. Projected Launch Window 2024-2025. Some reports suggest that the first test flight of the Long March 9th could occur in the 2024-2025 timeframe. However, this is subject to the successful completion of all development and testing phases. 2026-2027. If there are any delays in the development process, the first launch could be pushed back to 2026-2027. Key Missions Mars Sample Return Mission One of the primary missions for the Long March 9th is to support China's Mars Sample Return Mission, which is planned for the mid-2020s. Lunar Exploration The rocket will also play a crucial role in China's lunar exploration program, including the establishment of a lunar research station. The Long March 9th represents a significant leap forward in China's space capabilities and has the potential to reshape the future of global space exploration. Its high payload capacity, advanced propulsion technology, and modular design make it a versatile and powerful tool for a wide range of missions, from deep space exploration to lunar and Mars missions. The successful development and operation of the Long March 9th could foster international collaboration, drive technological advancements, and lead to new scientific discoveries, opening new frontiers in space exploration and research. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out our other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's space technology and development. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in. 
We hope you enjoy this episode. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like and share our video. We will bring you more contents similar to this one. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.